welcome back to my channel it is Brianna Lene and today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite products and how I style my hair for a bomb protective style let's get started the shampoo that I'm using is one of my favorite shampoos it's from curly bell and this is the moisturizing shampoo y'all let me tell you this bottle is bomb definitely one of my favorite shampoos uh, as you can see, it's almost gone. I like this shampoo because it lathers very well. It smells really good. And I really feel like this is a moisturizing shampoo. Okay, so it doesn't strip your hair. And I know some people say that shampoos are not drying. But there's a difference, in my opinion, with a clarifying shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo. What What is your favorite shampoo? Comment below, let me know, I wanna try it out. Okay, so I rinsed my hair out of my, I rinsed the product out of my hair and now it's time for deep conditioning. And one of my favorite products got a little bit bigger. This is Indulge by Mish. I don't know about y'all, but I had to get my hands on the bigger size because, I don't know, I'm a little heavy handed when it comes to deep conditioning, applying product, and so it was well worth it to get this 16 ounce of deep conditioner because it's normally 8 ounces, so that's what I'm about to apply next. So real quick, mm, mm. what I love about this product is that it's thick, I love deep conditioners that are thick, well I need all my products to be thick, okay? So I need everything to be thick. <laughs> I like how it goes on my hair, how it just melts away the tangles, how it smells. And these are handmade products, so all the ingredients are natural. Okay, nothing wild that would drop my hair out. I feel like my hair is about to be revived. I have not brushed my hair for like a week. My hair needed some deep conditioning badly. So feels good to <laughs> detangle. Oh, this feels so good. So I'm just going to work this all in my hair. And uh, once I'm done, I'm definitely gonna sit under the dryer because I want the heat to help penetrate my hair I'm a firm believer of sitting under the dryer if you watch my videos you know I always talk about sitting under the dryer it's a must in every hair routine that I do whether it's deep conditioning a hot oil treatment and or styling I'm gonna sit under the dryer So after sitting under the dryer for 30 minutes, I went ahead and rinsed it out and now it's time for styling. I like to do my protective styles on dry hair. So the first product I'm going to start with is my leave-in conditioner, which I'm using from Cream of Nature. I love how this smells. Followed up by Talia Wajid Strengthener. Uh, this is like a butter to me. So, and then I follow up with Mish Beauty's Quench. And this is like a cream, well it is a cream. And I like to use a variety of products in my hair when I am doing a protective style because I'm going to leave my hair alone and I wanna make sure that it's moisturized. So, as you can see, I am just braiding one section of my hair and then once I complete this section, I will begin to cornrow my entire head. And if you are wondering, yes, your girl's arms were on fire, burning. I actually had to stop a few times to take a break. And um, while I am doing my hair, I'm actually watching one on one. Um, I'm loving all of these Netflix shows, just catching up so many memories. So are you guys watching any Netflix shows? Let me know what y'all watching. So when we get to the back of my head, a lot of people 
um, have said to me, how can you do this? And honestly, by the grace of God, that's all I can tell you. Practice makes perfect. I'm still surprised I can do this. It's not 100% perfect like I can do the front of my head, but listen, this is some great progress. So now that I've completed braiding the back of my head, you will see that I have a little section that I purposely did not braid because I'm just going to do like three big braids in the middle. And I do this because it helps um, provide more braids for my bun. Um, it will give my bun a higher look as well. Um, so this is something that I do when I am doing my twisting protective styles as well So I just decided that I'm gonna do it with this braiding style So once you're done braiding you put your hair in a ponytail and then this is where you need to get your bobby pins ready You just start to form your hair and secure it with bobby pins um, So get as many as you need it all depends on your hair. Um, I don't remember how many bobby pins I use, but I know uh, I had a lot. So don't be scared to pin it up, girl. Your protective style is not complete without using some oil. So I'm using the Blueberry and Mint Tea Hair Growth and Scalp Treatment from Curls. I love this little nozzle. I put it all on my scalp in the morning and at night. And this is what we are working with. So this is a nice little protective style that I will keep in for about two weeks because your girl needs a break after all that action. So tell me what you all think about this style. What do you think about the products? Just comment below and let me know you like the video and I will see you in the next one.